Okay, in this video we are going to learn how to add a text and display our score. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add text. So, under the hierarchy we're going to go Create, um, and we're going to select UI, which is User Interface, and then we're going to select Text. Now, when you get text, it automatically comes on a canvas, and the canvas is the thing that the text sits on. And you can add multiple items to one canvas. So you can see our canvas here, and it's nice to go into game view for this, so we can see the game. Now, we can't see the canvas at all. So let's just check our features over here. Let's um, align, center, wrap, or overflow, and our position here is all wonky, so let's go to zero, zero, and now we can see our text. So this is the text, this is the text that's going to be here is going to be our score, and you don't want your score in the middle of the screen. You probably want it up at the top left, bottom left, um, whatever. So to choose where your text is going to sit, you click on this box, and remember we're, we're here holding talking about text here. So, um, and actually, before we go any further, let's rename this to um, score, just so we don't get confused. Okay, score. So then if we click here, um, so I'm going to choose this one, so I'm holding down shift and alt. There we go. And then the next thing I notice is it's up a little bit too high in the corner, um, so I'm just going to try and see what happens if I change this to 10. Okay, that moved in, fine. And let's see if I change this to 10. Nothing. And if I change this to 10. Okay, that just went too high. Let's make this 30. Okay, that went really bad. Let's try minus 10. There we go. Okay, that brought it down. So you can just play around until you get it where you want it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make it... Um, uh, larger than this, so I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make it, let's say, 24. Yeah, that's a nice number, nice size. So that's the way I want it, and I am going to leave it black, but if you wanted to change the color, you could click here and go through your color process. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the location. Now what we actually need to do is we need to go in and edit, edit the player controller, because the score that is going to change this text is going to be coming from the actions of the player. So if we go into scripts and we choose player controller, uh, the first thing that we need to do is up here, because we're using a UI now, we have to add uh, using Unity Engine dot UI. There we go, with the semicolon. Okay, so now we're going to be able to access that code. And then, um, under start, after score, has to be after score, because we're going to talk about the score, we're going to add the text, uh, set score text. And then we're just going to give it a semicolon. Now, later on, we're going to explain to Unity what we mean by that, but right now Unity has no idea. Okay, so we're going to say set score text there, and then we're also going to say, because so when the game starts, we want the score text to be set, but um, the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to, oh, actually, and I forgot the parentheses, so you need a double parentheses here. Okay, and then under on trigger enter underneath score we again need to set score text because every time uh, the player runs over a coconut we need to reset the score text so it's exactly the same thing with the parentheses and the semicolon now underneath um, every underneath the void trigger enter and before the last semicolon we're going to create another function, and so we type void set score text, and you need to write it exactly the same with 
cap sensitive that you've been spelling it in the past too. And then the double parentheses. And then you press enter and you open your brackets. And we'll go ahead and indent those. And then you press enter again and you tell it what to do. So we're going to go score text dot text. And notice text is lowercase there, equals score. So this is in brackets and it's actually going to be typing this onto the screen. So you'll notice here that I put a space um, here and that's so that there will be a space. And then the plus sign just means and in this case. Score. Now here we are referring to this variable here, this score variable that we had. And dot to string. And then we need the parentheses and oops, the semicolon. And then we need to close our brackets. And we'll go ahead and indent them so they're lined up neatly. Okay, so that should do it, I hope. Let's go ahead and save and see what happens. And before we, we carry on, we can see here that we have an error and it says the name score text does not exist. So let's just double click and score text doesn't exist. And this reminds me that we did not um, add the variable for score text. So before we can start talking about score text and setting score text, we actually have to create the variable. So that score text variable is going to be um, a public text. So we're going to say public okay, space text. text and we have to do the same caps as we had last time and then we can go ahead and save that file save and then let's see now our error is gone okay beautiful so now we've got that score text is supposedly going to work but we also need the text for the end of the game so let's go ahead and create a new text element so we're going to say uh, create UI text and you can see it's coming on our same canvas and you can see it's right here in the middle again and this time because it's for the game over anyway we do want it to stay in the middle so that's nice um, but let's just call this um, uh, I'm gonna call it full text you can call it whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna call it full text because my idea is that the game's over when you've eaten all the coconuts and you're full okay and so then we can adjust the size. I wonder how 48 would look. Well, what happened with that? Let's try 24. 24. Let's try 36. What's going on with that? 24. Okay, 24 works. And then let's make it red and bold. So style is bold, and we're going to set the text later, but let's call it here your full, like that. Let's try this, minus 50, there. Okay, I think that's a better location. Okay, so uh, we are now going to go into the player text. So we need to click on project here, player controller. Okay, so this time we are going to remember to create the variable. So we're going to create the variable up here and this is going to be another public variable. So we're going to say public text and I'm going to call it full and then under start, and you want that under set score text. And we're going to say full text, which that's the name of the variable we just created, dot text. And then we're going to say equals, and we're going to just put 
two quotation marks. And what this means is that it's going to be empty because if we put in here, hello world, then when the game started, that's what would be there on start. But we don't want it to say anything, so we're going to just leave it as that. And then under, under the, the void set score text, we're going to say here, if and then parentheses for the situation score is greater than or equal to and I happen to know we have eight coconuts you might need to go back and check eight we need to actually add in another set of curvy brackets because we're going to say in this case we're going to do something different it's not a space with a tab so we're going to tap that in. Then we're going to say um, if score is greater than, then full text dot text. And we're calling back that same variable that we already created, full text dot text, equals, and you can put whatever you want. I've decided to put it like this, your full and then I'm just going to add in this because I'm pretending to be cool. So it's going to say that, and then we need a semicolon to end that command line, and then we need to close that curvy bracket. It always does this, but I like to lay it in like this. Okay, tap that in and tap that in. So now we've got the score text and the full text. And it should work, so let's just go file, save. And then let's go back to Unity. And it doesn't look like, oh, no, we have an error. Unexpected symbol, so what did I put? So let's see, this one is aligned to that one. Okay, so void start there. Full text, out text. I forgot my semicolon. Easy. Okay. Let's save that now and see what happens. File save. Go back here. It's gone. All right. So what we have not yet done, though, is we have not dragged these texts into the player script. So if we click on player, we can see that we have, when we created those public variables, we created this score text and we created the full text. So the score text needs to go here, and the full text needs to go here. Okay, so now um, we can go ahead and press play to test the game. And we can see that my score is changing as I collect the coconuts. <laughs> But again, we can also see what a clumsy little coconut collector I am. I think I might starve on this island. And it works. So we didn't create a game ends, but we've got, we've got the beginning of a game.